life Merry Christmas everyone it's uh, well it's not exactly Christmas for me it's Christmas Eve um, but on the East Coast right now it's already Christmas so it's kind of a cheat um, not much this vlog today just had a really great Christmas Eve dinner with great friends lots of love and laughter oh, you know. Jesus. Huh? Oh, she has cheese. Hello? Cheese? Hello? Yeah, well, I don't know what that is. Pass. <laughs> Pass me. Pass me. Pass me. Um, you... <laughs> Mistletoe. <laughs> I don't want one for Christmas. <laughs> right? It's scary. Yeah, yeah. Lots of great food. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, just being a very blessed individual, which is what I am. And I hope you are as well. And uh, just want to say thank you for watching Vlogmas and everything. And before my countdown of the top Christmas movies of all time, I just wanted to say thank you and wish you all a very Merry Christmas and, uh, and all that good jazz. And it was just a really great time. First time in Vegas I'm spending it with people. And uh, last year I was sick for it, so that sucked. But uh, just uh, fireworks. Well, it's like an early Happy New Year as well. So, with that on that note, on with the countdown. Wait, 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 wait. I've always wanted to do this. And the flowers are still standing. And for this, the season finale of Vlogmas 2023, we're going to talk about the top five Christmas movies of all time. I feel like a bad, untalented cast member on SNL because I'm looking just far enough off that you know I'm reading the list right there. I'm a hack, what can I say? Anyway, before we get started on that, I really do hope that you had an amazing holiday. Whether you celebrate Christmas, or Hanukkah, which is already past, or Kwanzaa, or nothing at all. Most importantly, it's about being with the people that you love, and sharing good time with people. And, um, and putting up pretty lights, that's pretty important. I digress. I really do hope that you spent it with people who love you and whom you love. And uh, I really do thank you for taking time out of your days to watch these vlogmases. Uh, it's just, that means the world to me because I got to spend it from afar with you, who I love. I love each and every one of you for watching these vlogs. Sappy Wappy, here we go. Top five Christmas movies. You ho. I'm the ho. Idaho, let's go. Number five. <laughs> Speaking of hoes, Bad Santa. They just don't make them like they used to. That, that, fuck me Santa, fuck me Santa, fuck me Santa, fuck me Santa, which is what Balls is saying right now while he lays on. <laughs> it was between me and, and he's putting in the comments and he's gonna text me right now because I'm telling you Balls, text me when you watch this because you you know, you, you don't know what to do first, but fuck me Santa, fuck me Santa, fuck me Santa. What an inappropriate movie. Racial jokes, gender jokes, orientation jokes, mental health joke. I mean, it's just, it's an old school classic where people actually could take a joke and some offensive jabs at each other and the sequel not so great but i mean it's not coming to america two levels of atrociousness but the original bad santa classic that's the number five movie number four this might surprise some of you people out there love actually now if you haven't seen the honest trailers uh uh for for love actually after this, or pause it and come back to this, go YouTube that for yourself because it's really funny. It's like bad actually. It's it's such a bad movie. And it ushered in the, that era of terrible ensemble, but we're all interconnected, terrible rom-coms. Uh, Love Actually, it's it's just a fun movie. It's so campy, it's so cheesy, it's so corny, it's so bad. It's filled with some pretty reprehensible characters in there. Like, okay, yeah, okay, everyone shoots their ire over at uh, Alan Rickman for getting his his, his, his assistant, Julie. People used to buy their assistants nice things on the, on the holidays. 
I'm an assistant. That shit don't happen no more. But like, yeah, he flirted with her a little bit, but he never pulled the trigger. And don't lie, all you people married for 25 years have flirted with somebody at the office. Don't you fucking lie to me. You hate him, you hate yourself. You know who really sucks? Kira Knightley's fucking character, who went out there after Rick, Rick. That's why Shane knocked up Lori on The Walking Dead. That was karma, because that asshole, the best friend, tells his best friend's newlywed wife that he's in love with her? Who do you think you are? I mean, that's indicative of Gen Z. It's like, I'm living my truth. I have to get it out there. I don't care who gets hurt. And then she has the audacity to go out there and give him a kiss on the lips? Give him a little tease? Not that I feel, not, not, that's not the reason why, it's, not the tease thing. She's just, she's wrong, because that's cheating on your newlywed husband. And poor Chu would tell you, you up there just, la di da I think I have two great people in my life, my wife and my best friend. That, she's the villain of that shit. She's the villain. Also, Emma, don't go snooping in your husband's pockets. Anyway, there's a lot of reprehensible characters now, but it's it's classic and it's nice. And I went on a rant and a tear, and I should have did that on the vlog uh, 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 festivals. But um, anyway, love action number four, number three, Scrooge, Bill Murray at his finest, Alfred Woodard, Buster Poindexter, Cal Kane. Like, I mean, and the list goes on. What an incredible, incredible movie. Who was that directed by? I think Richard Donner, who did another great. Christmas movie, Lethal Weapon 1, which is way more of a Christmas movie than Die Hard. Fight me, it's the truth. It's not on this list, but it, you know, it's it's in the top 10, maybe. Number two, Home Alone 2. I did not like Home Alone 1. I thought it was overrated because I said Macaulay Culkin mostly because I was jealous of his position in life because I wanted to be a child star. Uh, Balls and I and our friends in middle school, MS 180 in the Bronx, represent Holocaust City, what, what? We saw them shooting Home Alone 2 in such park. We went to Walmart Rank on a class trip, and it was like, oh, it's so cool. Home Alone 2 was just a, a knockoff of Home Alone 1, but it's better because it's in New York. And uh, the Pigeon Lady's awesome. And uh, Cartel Dubs, Home Alone 2, gets the second spot. Number one, A Christmas Story. Wholesome goodness from Fred Geely, that leg lamp. I really, I spoke about one to the uh, Charlie Brown tree. What I really want is that leg lamp in the window year round. I love that movie. I, not having had grown up with many male role models, I always thought the father was kind of a dick growing up. And now I see it now, I'm like, oh, he's not the modern type of father, but he's a little detached, but he loves his family so much. And the mother is so amazing. And just that whole movie's good. And that sequel, the sequel from like two years ago, not terrible. I mean, it's not, it's definitely not, it's better than Bad Santa 2, which is better than most crappy knockoff sequels that go straight to Netflix. Hey, the Christmas Story, just goodness. And, and, and just, I, I always try to catch, like, I'll catch 15 minutes to 25 minutes, and then, you know, 45 to an hour 15, then 1 through 15, then 40 to 50. Like, I always try to get it in snippets as a whole at some point, like, just mixing and matching, like, out of time. Timey wimey, wibbly wobbly, TBS TNT, and this year I don't have the cable anymore, so, oh no, how, oh no, how am I gonna do that? Oh, I'll figure it out. What really gets me about Christmas story is we all wanted that toy growing up that we didn't think we were going to get. And one year for me, it was Ecto-1 from the real Ghostbusters cartoon. And what my mother did was what the father did with the BB gun. She hit it because of a Christmas story, because I love a Christmas story so much. You know, the father hid the BB gun behind the couch or by the lamp, wherever it was. And so Ralphie didn't think he got that gift. And then it's like, oh, oh, one more. What, what's that over there? And my mother did that with Ecto-1. And... What a great surprise. Miss you, Mom. And I know we're all missing a loved one on this holiday, but uh, hopefully we got to spend it with current loved ones or just people you kind of like. <laughs> anyway. Merry Christmas, y'all. Another year over. A new one just begun, or about to. Hopefully 2024 is a step in the right direction. It probably won't be. I've lost all faith in humanity, but you know, I'm gonna be sappy, maybe pappy, maybe naughty. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you for watching. I love you for watching. Merry Christmas, y'all. Happy Hanukkah, you know it's belated. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy end of year. Sure. Okay, that works. I'm gonna shut now. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Alright, thank you for spending this with me. Ho ho ho. Because that's what we are.